Hello YouTube, this is the Fat Guy, and I am sorry for the bad audio quality. Uh, I need a new cable for my microphone, so I'm going to have to order that from Amazon. Hold on. So I wanted to do a good haul video for you guys today. I went to the uh, Buy the Bound place again, and I got a good deal. This time I spent more than $10. Uh, overall, it cost me thirty something dollars there, and then I spent another like five bucks at a pawn shop. So let's have some fun. We'll start with the pawn shop stuff. And most of these are just smalls. Uh, I got a Flex Wing 3D Nylon Glider, new in the package. Tinker Bell. Uh, I'll probably list this for like ten to fifteen dollars. And then I also got a little uh, My Little Pony uh, Nurse Red Heart figure. Uh, that's a $10 figure. I also got a Misto. This one I'm probably keeping. Uh, they seem to sell for about $9.99. If it's first class, I'll probably sell it out. If not, I'll probably keep it because it's a pretty cool idea. You know, spray your own olive oil. You know, it sounds like a really cool idea. And then I also got it at the pawn shop for personal, not resale. I wanted to see how well these do. Uh, EnviroCell rechargeable batteries. Never heard of them. But for the price I got them for, I could not let them go. Let them go. Okay, uh, because I paid a dollar a piece each item. Dollar for the Misto, dollar for the Pony, dollar for the Kite, and dollar for the batteries. And if you guys know double A's, even you know good double A's are hard to find for a dollar. And these are rechargeable, so we'll see how those work out. Uh, that was only about four dollars I spent there for a uh, pawn shop haul. I know it's weird to be find them at a pawn shop, but they had some uh, damaged good boxes, I guess, from auctions and stuff around here. And I dug through them and I found a few good deals. You know, I spent a buck a piece on those uh, three items I'm going to sell, and I'm going to easily make you know twenty, thirty, forty bucks. Uh, Probably not 40 but around $30, which is not bad. Now, let's get on but to the buy the pound. Now, I'm going to show one of the items I got. Booyah. It is a VHS tape, factory sealed, the giant of Thunder Mountain. And this is factory sealed, uh, brand new. Apparently, they got a small donation from a old movie place, I guess. And uh, they got a bunch of new sealed uh, VHS tapes. I picked up about 40 of these. Yes, I hit my tongue. I picked up another 40 of relative values, factory sealed. Also got about two or three a piece on these. I got two Exercise for Life the Video factory sealed VHS tape. Then I got Why Christmas Trees Aren't Perfect factory sealed, and uh, I paid a good chunk. This whole haul cost me like thirty something dollars. Uh, and then. And then, the lady was really nice to me, and she gave me this for a quarter. It is a flip-through cassette organizer, made in USA, it's all there, um, don't know anything about it, but I'll probably be listing it for like 20 bucks. Now, this is where the good news comes in. Each one of these tapes, Amazon's for about ten to fifteen dollars a piece. Now, after fees and stuff, I usually will make about, let's say, on average, about three to five dollars a tape. I've got almost a hundred tapes back here. Uh, I think I got like ninety tapes. Let's do that at the bare minimum three dollar profit a tape. That's two hundred and seventy dollars. That's from a $30 investment. 
I will gladly label these up and mail them off to Amazon and let them sell these. Most of these had some really good uh, rankings. And I'm going to go over here to Amazon so you'll hear a little clicking. Uh, and I'm going to go look up at some of these uh, ratings and uh, for the VHS tape. You know, the rankings for these. Okay, let's look here for relative values. Uh, I'm going to look up the uh, UPC right quick. Sorry, my internet's a little slow right now. Apparently, this came out in 2000. I'm trying to get to the uh, all formats of uh, VHS. Okay, it's not showing here. Uh, what exactly it's selling for? So let's pop over to OBS, and I am going to scoot over to my bed and grab my cell phone, so I can look up the. Uh, All right, here's my cell phone. Can see it. Now we're first going to do, like I said, relative values. I'm going to go ahead and just scan it in with my handy dandy Amazon seller app. Okay, Relative Values has two FBA offers for $8. And this app has them at a 336,000 and change. Sorry if you can't really see that. But they have it for 339,619 rank. It's four out of five star reviewed. And uh, FBA is $8 new, but there's only two offers. And when I go over here to look at, uh, and that's FBA offers, uh, two FBA, but there's only three new offers. So I'm popping back over to here and looking relative values up on VHS tape. There is only one in stock, oh, the DVD is in stock. Only one DVD is left in stock. That's about eight bucks, so that's probably why they're doing it that late. So let's go back. I have to specifically click VHS tape. So I need to be taken to that listing. And sorry if I'm rambling. Okay, they have buy new prime eight dollars, only one left in stock. Uh on brand new. Other sellers on Amazon, there's another guy for eight prime. Uh who looks to be only one as well and there's 13 people selling this uh, by themselves so I'm probably going to pop this up to a $11.99 or $12.99 VHS tape uh, because I don't think anybody else really has this product new in the quantity I'm going to be mailing in. I'm going to be mailing in 40 tapes. So I will gladly sit there for you know, $12.99 a piece. Now let's go back to uh, the in-store or in-app notification. I'm going to assume that I'm going to sell it for, I'm going to put this up probably for, uh, 
You know what, let's say 1250 a tape. Uh, I'm gonna say my average cost is 75 cents. I should be, e okay, at, if they sell for $12.50 with eBay fees, or with Amazon fees and uh, the cost for shipping, I should be making about $5.62 a tape I sell. That's o that's over $200 in profit just from that tape. Now if we go back and scan the other one, the next one we're going to scan is Exercise for Life. Uh, This brings up a weird listing of a Exercise for Life, it looks like a two cassette tape item. None of them are on FBA and people are trying to get $40 for this uh, item. Uh, I really don't know what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to just change the photo, send mine in and see what happens. But people are trying to get $40 for that tape. Will I get it? I doubt it. But it's worth a shot. But its ranking is also 529,361 in video. So that's not too bad. Now let's go to another one. Why Christmas trees aren't perfect. Uh, buy a box is twelve ninety nine, so that's always a good number. Uh, three Amazon offers on FBA. Four other uh, should make about six dollars a tape because I'm going to list these up to like twelve ninety five a piece. And this one and the exercise one, I don't have many of, so I can't flood the market. You know, I got like two or three tapes of those, but they're sealed, and that'd be good to send them with the other stuff. Now for the other bulk one, I got Giant of Thunder Mountain. All right, this one's more interesting, or not really. Uh, it's ranked 124,000 and 033 in VHS, or no, in video, and that is for the VHS listing. There's two FBA offers for 9.99. There are eight other people trying to sell it for 5.99. Uh, no. But I'm I gotta compete with the Amazon people, so let's go up here, and I'm gonna look up the VHS tape on my computer right quick. Just to snoop out the competition and see where these people are. And how many they got. Okay, the guy who has it for $9.99 only has one. Uh, this guy who's selling it for $11.88 only has one. So that's another one I am going to be flooding the market with. And I'm going to probably list mine about, you know, $12, $13.99. Let's say, because that's more friendly, friend, more family friendly, and is a lot better ranking than. Uh, the other one I'm just going to get like twelve, you know, sell for twelve fifty. Um, I'm going to say Amazon fulfilled at fifteen dollars a tape. Uh, after fees and the shipping, I should make seven dollars a tape, seven seventy four by what this is telling me. That's after I calculate seventy five cents to ship that in, and that's per pound. I know it's a little bit more, but um, counting this on a per. Uh, BHS mail in so I'm just calculating for one price and blanketing that that's how this is going to work but if I do a quick calculator of I, I don't know exactly how many of these I got uh, I'm going to say I got I'm going to say I know I have at least 35 so I'm going to do 774 times 35 equals two hundred and seventy dollars and ninety nine or ninety cents then I add say I get five dollars a tape on the other one I know I have at least 40 of that so that's two hundred dollars uh, after fees and all that once everything sells I don't know how fast these will sell once they're in the warehouse 
but I should be profiting over $400 off of this small lot. And that's not counting the uh, other small bits of VHS tape I have. Um, this was just one of those rare, uh, you know, I found them, I bought them kind of deal. We all get those once in a while where we have to jump on something and see where it goes. I'm just looking up the kite right quick. But uh, that's just my haul for today. Uh, I picked up a ton of brand new factory sales VHS tapes, a few odd and ends from eBay, and overall a very profitable trip. Overall, I spent under $40. I should easily make 10 times my money once everything sells. Uh, and that's usually a good margin to do, you know, you know, a thousand percent, I think is what it is, you know, 10 times 100 is a thousand, thousand percent in profit. That's always great. But this has been the fat guy and I have to stop for now.